What's up, YouTube? I'm at Cherry Hill Dodge. This is my one-stop shop for Dodge parts, usually. And I was shocked to see some, some old Jeeps in here. Oh, currently, I'm picking up another part for that 09 Jeep Wrangler. I have the same one. I have the same one. Now, this one you could probably buy for $5,000. My Jeep had the same clear coat problems. I have the same headlights. How about that? I have nicer wheels and tires. I have nicer braking system. Uh, I have a brand new top. This is actually not bad. And this is an auto Blatic, and mine's a stick. Anywho, back to what I was saying. So the 09 Wrangler, the AC contensor, was decayed away. The lines were seized to another line, which is this line. So be prepared if you're working on rusty old Jeeps like myself, or you're going to try this yourself and you're gonna replace your transmission lines, <laughs> you definitely wanna inspect all your connections before you commit to this job. You are going to need, and I would replace this, and that's the factory part number for this here. So this flange bolts to the condenser, which houses your tra uh, transmission cooler, and then your transmission lines go in here, and guess what? Mine were seized into those ends, the lines at the transmission, those fittings were seized. So we needed two fittings, transmission lines, another trans line to condenser and a condenser. So if you're not in a rusted rust belt area, um, you probably can get away with just changing the trans lines. I'm gonna tell you, probably not. You're gonna need to replace all these parts. And if you look at my previous videos, you'll see the trans lines, you'll see the the fittings and then now you're gonna see this other line that bolts to the condenser which was hundred and forty dollars aftermarket at the parts store and thirty three dollars less at the dealer go figure thanks for watching